Are you guys excited about Ryzen? Yeah. I love you guys, by the way. I love you guys. Look, um, our mission with Ryzen has always been clear, okay? Our job is to push the boundaries of what can be done by a desktop processor. The third gen Ryzen processor is the next big thing in that mission. Third gen Ryzen is also powered by the Sen2 core, also has seven nanometer technology. And as a desktop processor, it will absolutely set the bar on performance, technology, and power efficiency. And to show you a little bit, I'm gonna give you today the first ever public preview Preview. No, it's a preview <laughs> um, of what Next Gen Ryzen can do. So um, let's take a look. Let's begin with PC gaming. My friend James, are you ready? Okay, James, let's, uh, let's show the audience what we got here. So what you're seeing is an early version of our third gen Ryzen desktop processor. Uh, by the way, it's also running with Radeon 7 GPU. Um, it's running the uh, performance-intensive Forza 4 gaming from Microsoft Studios. And we like this game because it really stresses the computing power. And as you can see, we have the frame rates up there. Um, the game is running consistently at more than 100 frames per second at 1080p with maximum settings. This system that James is running is the most advanced PC gaming hardware in the world, together in one system. Third gen Ryzen, Radeon 7. What do you think? Thank you very much, James. Good job, you didn't crash, thank you. <laughs> he was worried, by the way. <laughs> I was worried too. <laughs> um, but look, I know you guys well. I know the enthusiast community. And you're asking yourself, how does Ryzen really perform compared to the competition? So let's take one more look, just one more look. Let me make sure I have my guys. OK, you guys are there. Sit tight. Um, Lewis and Amit are from our engineering team. And uh, they've been with Ryzen um, all, all along. Uh, what we're going to show you today is now third gen Ryzen with a head to head comparison against the top of the line Core i9 9900K running the industry standards and a bench benchmark. So, note, let me tell you what we're running. We're running 8 core 16 thread Ryzen, not final frequency, early, uh, early, um, early uh, sample, and we're running stock frequencies of the, um, of the Intel part. So, Lewis and Amit, are you ready? Okay, let's start the demo, please. So, Cinebench is going to run for a little while. What you're also seeing, um, just so you know, are the uh, powers. These are the system powers that you see from each. And um, as I said, the image on the left is um, the competing, competing processor. The image on the right um, is Ryzen. And what you can see, let's take a look at the Cinebench scores. Ryzen looks like 25, 2057. Our competitor is running at 2040. So um, that sounds like a win. Does it sound like a win? Um, the other thing that's really important is um, the system power. So you can see that the system power of third gen Ryzen is running uh, actually about 30% lower than uh, of the competing system. So now you really see the power of seven nanometer technology and what being aggressive with technology does. So thank you, Lewis and Amit, great job. As you can tell, I really love building chips, okay? I really love building chips. And um, some of you may actually wonder, some of you may actually wonder what third generation Ryzen actually looks like. So, take a look. For the first time, we will show you how Ryzen looks under the hood. And you can see, it's different. It's different from what you normally expect. 
It's using our industry-leading triplet design. So the smaller die is our 7 nanometer Zen 2 processor die with 8 cores and 16 threads. The larger of the dies is actually our I.O. die. This I.O. die is specif specifically designed for the PC market and for desktops, and it feeds the data between the Zen 2 engine and the rest of the system. And so one of the things that's pretty important is to take advantage of some of the faster graphics cards and devices that are coming to market later this year. Next-gen Ryzen will also be the world's first PC platform to support the ultra-fast PCI Express Gen 4 standard. What do you think? I guess I'll keep the chip. <laughs> so look, by now you're starting to understand why we get so excited about technology. Being first to seven, really pushing the envelope on system architecture, third gen Ryzen is aimed at leadership, true leadership. Performance, features, power. And one of the things that we feel really passionately about is the extension of the infrastructure. So third gen Ryzen will run on the same AM, AM4 desktop infrastructure. So it's really simple. For all of you who are on Ryzen today, really simple upgrade drop-in uh, for users. So I know you guys want to know a lot more about third gen Ryzen. Um, we have a lot going on, and I'm really happy to tell you that uh, we look forward to sharing that information as we get closer to the product launch. And we will be launching in the middle of 2019. Right, so look, today I've shown you a lot. Um, I've shown you CPUs, I've shown you GPUs, um, I've shown you what it's, what's required to really get a step function in computing performance and really put us on a new trajectory moving forward. And I want to tell you, um, on behalf of all of the 10,000 AMDers, we are absolutely determined to drive high performance computing innovation at the bleeding edge. This is our job one. Whether you're talking about heterogeneous system design, or you're talking about future cores, and twos, and threes, and fours, and five, uh, Navi, all of these, we're putting all of these architectures together, and we're putting them together in new ways. But as much technology as we've shown, there really is a lot more to come. So let me just finish up on a little bit more of a personal note. I love semiconductors.